Hallelujah, glory to God. You're welcome to Prophetic Intercession with a Male. Always an honor to have you back here on this channel. And if this is your first time, a special welcome to you. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Maybe it has been popping, my videos have been popping on your timeline and today you just decided to click on it. I always say this is no no coincidence. If God is leading you here at this moment, is because there is a word for you here on this platform. And it is my prayer that you stick around long enough to know why God sent you here. Hallelujah. Please kindly consider subscribing and turning on your notification bell so that whenever we are live or whenever God give us, gives us a prophetic word, you don't want to miss out on what the Lord is doing in this place. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Someone will be invited in your house and that will be this, the beginning of this. Uh, the, of that, That's going to be where your problem comes to an end. It's going to be the start of the end of an issue someone will be invited to your home and it's going to be the start of the end of your issues it's going to be it's going to create a new season it's going to create a new reality it's going to create something new altogether for you when the Lord gave me this prophetic word he told me there are people who come into your life and things would never be the same again of course, people come into your life for a season, for a reason, and for a lesson. People come into your life for a season, for a reason, and for a lesson. There are people who get into your life and your life changes forever for good. They come bearing gifts that is going to transform your life. They come bearing gifts that is going to take you to another level that will change your reality altogether. This same thing happened to the Shunammite woman. When he invited the prophet Elisha into her home, she did not know it was the beginning of the end of her childlessness. Little did she know that the singular invitation to invite the prophet of God to come rest in her house is going to change her reality. It's going to change everything about her life. It's going to give her that one thing she has been believing God for, expecting for so long that she had already given up on, which was the gift of a baby. Elisha's coming into her home. There was one day Elisha asked her, his servant, <clears throat> The Shunammite woman has been really good to me. What can I really do to, to make her happy? She has done so much. You know, there is a way you are hospitable to a guest in your house. All they are thinking of is how to pay you back, how to make you happy, how to repay you for your sacrifices, for your kind gestures. Yes, this is where the Shunammite woman found herself. She was so good to the prophet of God that all... Uh, the prophet was thinking of, of was how to make her feel happy as well. And that is how the prophet prayed. And by one declaration, he said, by this same time next year, you are going to have a child. And just like the man of God said, it happened to her. Hallelujah. And the Lord um, equally re-echoed the life of Abraham and Sarah to me. God had actually promised them a child. What did they not do to attract that child? They did everything, but it wasn't coming for it. Just this face, fateful day, Abraham is, is seated under an oak tree in Mamre. <clears throat> Excuse me. And these three people are passing and he invites them to come, um, you know, have lunch in his home. Sarah, the beautiful woman, decides to make a beautiful, you know, meal for them. Delicious meal. And just by that invitation... Little did they know that their life was about to change. That was going to be the beginning of the end of their childlessness. That one invitation into their home brought the child, Isaac, their laughter to them. The Lord said to me, somebody, someone is going to be invited into your home. And they are going to leave a blessing. Someone is going to be invited into your home. And because of how hospitable you've been or you are, things are going to change. They are going to leave a blessing. The Bible says we have entertained angels without knowing. That is why it, it pays to be good at all times. Not just to people you know, but even to strangers because you do not know who is who on the streets. 
you might have entertained a, a, an angel of God or God himself and you do not even know. So at all times, you've got to be at your best, at your maximum, at your best behavior. Be kind to everyone you see. You do not know who carries your next level, who carries that, the answer to that prayer you've been having. You've been praying and believing God for all the time. Hallelujah. Did you receive this word with gladness? Let me pray for you. I pray that in this season of your life, you will not miss out on your angelic visitations. You will not miss out on your destiny helpers. The people whose entrance into your life will change your life around forever. You will not miss that divine encounter in the mighty name of Jesus. May the Lord bless you and keep you, cause his face to shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace. The shalom of the Lord, nothing missing, nothing broken. Until I see you again, I remain your prophetic intercessor. Have an amazing day. Shalom.